Chuck Crosby, and uh, it's a doozy, Vanessa Chuck planned on buying a condo in Louisville last month. In this email, she's writing that she would have been, it would be her first property, but Vanessa also has a service dog. And the condo rules and regulations specifically say pets are not allowed. And so Vanessa is wondering, is it legal for the condo association to discriminate against her and her dog if the dog is a service dog? Chuck? The quick answer is no. Uh, and I can give you the phone number of three different uh, local agencies uh, and one state agency out of Lexington that would be happy to jump on that issue. Hmm. Do, do you think this is a common problem with condo associations? You or? get the phone call occasionally. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, usually if the condo association has a, a management company, mm-hmm. if the HOA has a management company, the management company rides herd on that kind of stuff. And they realize, you know, that the ADA, you know, requires certain things, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but occasionally you will get uh, member run HOAs and they just go off the rails on things. Mm-hmm. Um so, you know, there's that. But, uh, yeah, if you want to try discriminating uh, in that fashion, uh, I, I can tell you that uh, it's not difficult to find the governmental agencies or the quasi-governmental agencies that will represent them for free on a housing discrimination claim. Yeah. OK, good. So condo associations, be prepared for the fallout if you're not up on the regulations for um, for this type of a problem. 